at Blake Lively is taking accountability. The Gossip Girl alum is apologizing for seemingly making fun of Kate Middleton's photo editing incident in a recent post promoting her company, Betty Buzz. Although Blake didn't directly mention the Princess of Wales in her Instagram story, she did say sorry for the gesture, writing, quote, I'm sure no one cares today, but I feel like I have to acknowledge this. I made a silly post around the Photoshop fails frenzy and oh man, that post has me mortified today. I'm sorry. Sending love and well wishes to all, always. In the 36-year-old's original post from last week, she appeared to poke fun at Kate's Mother's Day photo, which the royal said she edited. Blake's apology comes hours after the Princess of Wales announced in a moving video released by Kensington Palace on March 22nd that she is undergoing preventative chemotherapy after previously receiving a cancer diagnosis. The 42-year-old didn't go into specifics about her diagnosis, but she did give a timeline of her medical journey, revealing why she is undergoing chemotherapy. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. In the video, Kate also briefly explained how she is talking to her three children, 10-year-old Prince George, 8-year-old Princess Charlotte, and 5-year-old Prince Louis about her health and gave a loving nod to Prince William for the support. This, of course, came as a huge shock. And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too. Kate's video is the first time she's directly addressed the public since her January surgery. Her last official appearance was during the family's Christmas church outing in December 2023. Access Hollywood spoke to Daily Mail's U.S. associate editor Charlie Langston on Friday, and she talked about Kate's major announcement and why what she said in the video is so important. I think we've known all along that when it came to this significant a health update that Kate would want to be the person to share it with the world. There is obviously a difference between saying she's going in for surgery and then sharing the news that you are going through this kind of serious health battle. And I also think that Kate felt it was important to address the world personally for a number of reasons. A, to stop all of the crazy conspiracy theories, which I hope will now end as a result of this very, very emotional video. And B, because she wanted people to hear it from her in her own words in order to bring a bit more humanity back to the situation. You know, I think Kate is very well aware of the questions that people would ask, and she almost kind of hit those bullet points one by one as she went through her video. And the children would obviously be a major concern for everyone. Any parents out there must be brokenhearted at the thought of ever having to share this kind of news with young children, with any children. And the fact that Kate made sure to let the public know, A, we have told them, we've made very clear that I'm going to be okay, not only helps to answer and hopefully kind of calm people's concerns, but it also very cleverly reminds people, I have three young children at home. Please be mindful of what you're saying.